How's everybody doing? Today we're going to discuss patterns and personality. Uh, what we want to talk about is the human brain. And a lot of people don't understand that um, trading, screen trading is, is 90% of what you're seeing and how you're processing that information. And so what we find out is that this is the human brain. The human brain is a coping mechanism. It's basically a three and a half, four pound electric sausage that's designed to develop patterns and, and, and use them then in order for the, the, uh, our species to cope. That is, we don't have to consciously evaluate every new impulse every single time that it happens again. Um, just like the child who first burns himself on the stove, the second time he, he's reluctant to touch it because he's now learned. Okay, so that that is in essence a very simple explanation of how uh, the, the brain works. So the issue though is that um, when it comes to screen trading though, we have, um, you basically, there, with two parts of the brain obviously, we have the conscious and we have the subconscious. Okay, so as people grow, learn, they're nurtured, whatever it happens, they develop habits. Um, most of the habits, though, are developed in the subconscious, meaning that they're unaware of, of what they're doing. So this leads to, a, um, this leads to um, the, the brain either acting either in harmony with its, its um, surroundings or its environment, or it's at odds with it. So if you find there's an area in your life that is not working for you, it's probably because you have unproductive subconscious habits developed. Well, nothing um, is more applicable than in the world of screen trading because there, uh, many, many students that come to me have been dabbling for years and developed extremely unproductive habits, all of which they have to undo, and it becomes very difficult to do that. So one of the issues is you have to understand how your brain is wired for the decision-making process because of the pattern recognition skill that's inherent um, with, with really sound, uh, consistent, profitable screen trading. Okay, so when we take a look at, at um, what, what this means is, so if we talk about, um, we talk about, let's just say, okay, let's say we have Bob here. And Bob is uh, Bob's a screen trader, and he's gonna here we'll give him a neck. Okay, so we want to understand. Okay, that what he what he sees over here in the price chart is first going to be filtered by his his conscious brain. All right, so. This, this, is, this is an issue. Now, if the filter is productive and he sees the truth in the chart, he's not, he's not going to struggle for consistency. Now, if it's unproductive, he'll struggle for consistency. So you gotta look at this as like, um, like it's like a pair of glasses. So this filter, now this filter can be affected by a whole slew of things, habit, imagination, belief systems, belief systems about fear, about winning and losing, about money, a whole bunch of those. Um, so belief systems. Okay, so as he focuses on this, um, that filter is, he isn't even aware, that he's not even aware that that filter is, he's seeing through that to the screen, to what he's seeing, and there can be a whole slew of unproductive, uh, unproductive habits, imaginations, belief systems, whatever he sees in there. Okay, so as a result of that, let's just take a look at at, at one way um, that we evaluate um, a trader in terms of personality and their pattern recognition skill. And one of the things that I've I've used over the years is um, the extrovert uh, versus the introvert. Okay, so this is, uh, the, now the extrovert uh, is going to derive affirmation externally. The introvert's going to derive affirmation internally. 
Okay, so in my experience with teaching, extroverts have a much easier time depending on um, their degree of extroversion. So this can go from anywhere from like, let's say roughly 40% to a full on extrovert. And the same thing can happen in varying degrees um, for uh, an introvert as, as well. But so an extrovert, we're gonna talk about, like let's say we go back to, to um, here's Bob again. And so Bob is an, is an extrovert, he's an extrovert, he's likely to take this type of path to the screen, okay? So his, from analysis to action is going to be in a straight line. Now that's, that's productive. Um, for the introvert, depending on the degree of introversion, if he's an introvert, it's going to look like this. It's going to spin this entire journey largely in his head. Okay, because he's, he's thinking internally, he's deriving affirmation internally towards the decision-making process. Okay, in that decision-making process can be all of those beliefs, what happened in the past, comparisons, habits, um, fear, Whatever that is, he remains in his head on a, on a much longer term than uh, the extrovert. Okay, this can be an issue for introverts because they, they, they have a difficult time trusting what they see in the screen. So the introvert then will take a lot more, many more steps, let's say, to the decision-making process. All right many of which when it comes to screen trading are, are, are unnecessary. As we know, there's only a, a few things that you really need to understand in order to get consistent. But, and also, they'll also need more and more affirmation from what they perceive to be external sources so that they can learn to trust that. That becomes an issue. So this is just one way of, 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 uh, of looking at this, of looking at how patterns affect personality. When I train people, there's actually several that we use. So in order to, um, in order to help them not only create the environment and the structure that they need to, to, uh, to get consistent, but also stay there and develop the proper habits and the proper belief system. So if you don't think that the, um, if you don't think that patterns and personality play a pivotal role in how to trade, it's as simple as taking a look at any given strategy and you can go with trader A over here who will get consistent and trader B over here will consistently lose. The same exact strategy, same exact structure, same types of patterns. It's the filters that they use and how they're able to perceive risk and reduce and eliminate it. Okay, so take a look. Uh, if you really wanna, if you really wanna get a handle on this, you need to take a look at how your brain is wired for the decision-making process, what that looks like, and how it's affecting your, your screen time. And the longer that you stay with unproductive habits, the more difficult it becomes to, uh, to eventually get consistent. So uh, if you wanna learn more about how to do this, um, how patterns are essential to getting consistent with the screen. There's a link below this video. You want to join my free training and you can uh, see exactly how we do that and the steps that every profitable trader eventually takes in order to get consistent. Thank you very much. My name is Frank Bunn and have a great day.